Hello all of friends. I was always very curious how big companies develop new products. How they come up with ideas and features and all these things. And in reality it's all a big mystery. They never share it with public. So here at Olo we try to do things in a different way. And this time we're gonna show you our process how we develop new products for you guys. Follow me. All right, so for example, how did we came up with the S4R model after we already had the S4 on the market? So, there's a story behind it. Chris Brown is one of the very first ambassadors we ever got. He's a London-based engineer. He worked with Radiohead, Muse, and a ton of other British artists. He asked if we can turn the open back into a closed version for him. And we did that. And when we developed all the acoustics and everything, we decided to test them out with a few other engineers as well. And when we gathered the feedback, and it was essentially very good, we, we knew we could you know, start selling this and we put it on the market. So that was, in a brief way, how this product came to life. So now I'm gonna show you the steps that we take in order to you know, design, develop a product based on your needs. Follow me. Here I've got a scribble that I have to explain for you guys. So we have this in four steps. Any development of any product at Ola goes through four steps or four phases if you wish. So the first one we just call customer or customer development phase. Then it's a research and development phase that goes into testing. And this is you know, obviously ending with marketing or a strategy for go to market. And all of these phases, they have limitations. So for example, customer cannot be just anyone. You can't say that these headphones will fit everybody. So obviously we have to develop a persona, an avatar, our ideal customer. So that is happening in this phase. Then in research and development, we are researching everything that's happening, everything that is available and trying to come down to an MVP. But the limitations over here are obviously money, time and human resources. In the testing, the biggest limitations are the unknown or the assumptions, when we think we know something, but we don't really know it. And in the marketing, of course, the channels are limited uh, and the competition can be very strong on certain channels. Uh, so these are, again, the limitations in how you can uh, actually be successful in this phase in marketing your product. So to briefly explain what's, what's uh, scribbled over here, when you have an idea, uh, you basically try to get a, a, a sense of the current state or how a customer is currently working on a problem, working around the problem, what is he using. So for example, with all of this could be customers are using traditional uh, studio monitoring and on the other side they're using headphones and everything in between, right? And we need to narrow this down to a specific problem. So in case of uh, Chris Brown, his idea was that he could potentially go and jump very fast from recording booth uh, to a mixing room and kind of have the same monitoring feel to everything. So this was his reason to try and get a closed back, a closed version of the S4 headphones. So this is the problem we you know, define as the one problem we are trying to solve. And then in the, the research phase, uh, we of course check the competition and there's a lot of closed back headphones out there and, and we tried to then define what we can actually do, how we can actually design a closed version of a headphone that will sound similar to the open one and hopefully solve the problem that Chris was having. So we designed a prototype and in the testing phase we sent it out to Chris and to a bunch of other engineers. We gathered the feedback and finally had a prototype that could be actually sold on the market. So we did a small batch, I think it was 20 or 30 headphones. This is where you try and sell it through different channels, maybe even to different, different customers. You might have you know, two or three different personas. So it could be a freelancing engineer, uh, it could be a vocalist or, or a guitarist and so on that might need a closed back uh, version more than the open back. And then again, you know, narrowing this down to a perfect market fit, 
where we know exactly how much it costs to get a customer, we know exactly what is the material that goes in, into the headphone and what are the specifications and what is the obtainable, the obtainable market. So this is how we develop every single product here at Ola. And this is how we are now developing well, the next series of headphones.